Hello everybody. Right then, today then I'm moving on, on to making the saddle. And the saddle is going to support the smoke box, which I did in my last couple of videos, if you've not seen them. And it's going to clamp between the frames to support the smoke box and the boiler on this end. So let's take a look at drawing then. Okay, so here's the drawing for the smoke box, and it says in the right up, it can be the saddle can be machined from a gunmetal casting or an aluminium casting, or fabricated in mild steel. Well, I've not got the castings, and you know me by now, I won't be, I won't be buying any. So I'm going to have an attempt at fabricating it, but I'm going to fabricate it in aluminium. And the reason I'm going to do it in aluminium is um, because I've got this lump of aluminium here that I've had on stock. It's all a bit mangled up and folded up, but there's plenty of straight bits on it where I can uh, make it from. And also, I want to have an attempt at putting these ribs in to make it look like a casting by a loomy welding some ribs in. So I'm going to get the pieces cut, ready for fabricating it up, and then we'll reconvene. I've got all the aluminium cut to, to, to its sizes now and everything to, to length and I've profiled the the cradle bit that's going to fit with the smoke for the smoke box diameter to five and five eighths diameter I've got these angle pieces put on on the end so that they'll look like ribs on each end and my plan is to use this angle, aluminium angle, put a piece of aluminium angle in each corner, put the sides on, and because I've put the cut this at an angle, the front and the back will will have a rib on. And then in between I'm going to put two more ribs and loomy well two more ribs in to match the front and the back. And because imagine you're going to have a box section, I can't rivet from the inside then. So I've decided to, I've not got no aluminium rivet so I'm, I'm in the process, I've got this bar here and I'm in the process of making some rivets. And I'm going to rivet it with the head on the inside and then rivet it and, and file it flush on the outside
and uh, I'm just about to loom weld these ribs in. Uh, I thought I'd just show you that for anybody that's not done any loomy welding before. Uh, I don't do much myself but it's, it's pretty straightforward really. Um, you get a kit, a kit uh, with so many rods in and a stainless steel brush and a stainless steel scratcher. It's important that this stainless steel so, because these ribs are quite small and difficult to hold, I've put some Tembie screws through. Use a stainless brush and get the joint that you the, the, that you weld in spotlessly clean and abraded, so the molecules of the filler rod can attach to the aluminium or. Whatever it is you you braze in, because it will braze zinc and it will braze galvanised steel and it will braze brass and copper. I've never done brass or copper. I've only ever done it on aluminium myself. So make sure that that's clean, and then you've got to get your temperature up uh, around the old complete job, so that the rod melts on the aluminium and not on the flame.